Set up the base station in an open area. For a small operating range, the built-in radio mode will be fine. Screw on the radio antenna to ensure signal stability. Configure the same radio parameters for the rover station and start working. The environment is always changing during operations and tall old city walls may be unexpected. The radio signal is interrupted by the walls and the fixed solution is lost. It seems that the network mode will work better for today's task. Switch to the network mode that requires no radio antenna. Remember the base SN and click apply. Go back to the walls again, select FDDS for the rover station, and input the base SN. Wait until the fixed solution is back, and continue working. When working near tall buildings, transmission towers, or other survey teams using radios or walkie-talkies on similar frequencies, radio signals will be interfered. In these cases, the network mode provides stable 4G network for both the base and rover stations, ensuring accurate positioning results. The network mode makes it a breeze for positioning even when the rover station is 30 kilometers away from the base station. Now, the network mode is available for both V1T and V10I. This will expand the applications of both devices in areas such as terrain mapping, precision agriculture, construction stakeout, forest resource surveying, and hydrographic measurement. FJD Tryon RTK Solutions Work made easy.